This video describes the key aspects of the care history section of the EMIS Web Care Record, providing an in-depth look at some of the most useful functionality for clinicians. As with other sections of the care record, you can create shortcuts to the care history tab from within the quick launch menu, the quick access toolbar, or use the EMIS ball to navigate to the care record going directly to the care history tab. Or if you're already in the care record, it's the sixth tab along. There are several ribbon options that appear in common with other sections of the care record, such as filters, search view, print, knowledge search, and manage fit notes, as well as the options to add, edit and delete data and to record the patient's sharing preferences. These common options are all covered in the video Navigating the EMIS Web Care Record and will not be covered again in this video where we'll focus on functions that are specific to the Care History section. The Care Record Config option is covered in more detail in the video called Configuring EMIS Web A Clinician's Guide. The Care History tab displays all data that's been added to the patient's care record and gives you a variety of options for viewing that data. In common with other sections of the care record, the care history section displays the data in a main panel which has a detailed view section to the right. If applicable to your organisation, there'll also be a sharing navigator panel to the left. At individual user level, it is possible in care record config to change your settings so that for you, the sharing navigator is open by default. However, if there's no shared data for the patient, the section will remain closed regardless of that configuration, as it is here. Opening this section will display a list of organisations with which your organisation shares data. Adjust the width of the open side panel by dragging and dropping the delineator. Here we can see the GraphNet link as well as a link to the summary care record. The data in the main section is displayed in chronological order with the most recent entries at the top. As well as the date and term, if the item is a value, the value recorded will be shown and further information such as whether the code was recorded as a problem, a family history, investigation or attachment is shown in this context column. The detailed view panel on the right displays the background information for the selected item. This always includes the term itself and any value or free text information associated with it. The authorising user read code and SNOMED CT concept ID are always displayed. Other information displayed here will differ according to the type of item you have selected. For example, if you select a data item that has qualifiers, the detailed review includes those qualifiers. So for wheezing, we can see the severity and frequency qualifier information. And for family history, we can see the listed family members. Note that as with the sharing navigator on the left, you can drag and drop this delineator bar to change the amount of screen space dedicated to each panel. In the default view of the main panel, only the most recent record of each code is displayed. To include all records for every code, you can deselect the latest only option in the ribbon, which will populate the display with every record of every code. This option on the ribbon will allow you to exclude descriptive text from the view. These two options are ticked by default, so remember that these will revert back to being selected next time you log in. If the selected item has a value associated with it, a graph is also displayed in the detailed view on the right. If an item has an attachment associated with it, for example a letter sent to the patient, then the paperclip icon will be displayed and can be used to open and view the document by double clicking on it. The document can be viewed, printed, exported or sent either by email or direct message. Sending by direct message means that the document will be sent directly to an EMIS workflow manager inbox. This can be at another EMIS practice if there's an appropriate sharing agreement in place. As with the investigations section of the care record, where you have complex multi-line entries, you can also change the view by expanding or collapsing the entries. Also, if there's too much free text to fit into the appropriate column, 
you'll be notified in red that the text has been truncated and you can double click to view the full text. Remember that where coded entries are displayed in the care record, you can normally access a set of functions by right clicking the code. In care history, this provides options to edit and delete the selected code or to apply or change a confidentiality policy. A separate video describes confidentiality policies on EMIS. From this menu, you can also restrict a coded entry to being unavailable on the patient's online record by selecting the online visibility option or remove a previously applied restriction. The option copy to local that's greyed out here is a feature that's only available when you have selected a coded data item that is being viewed as part of a shared record from another organisation, i.e. it's not data that's stored on your local record but is being displayed in the shared view. You will know if an item of information is part of a shared view because it will have a blue and red icon next to it, like the codes here. Copy to local record allows you to copy down from that shared record into your local record one code at a time if you wish. Graphical and tabular trend options are also available here, which open a new window to display all entries of the selected code in a tabular format or graphical if the selected code is a value code. If you wish to display the readings associated with each of the points on the graph, right click within the graph and select point labels. To remove, just right click again and toggle them off. You can toggle between the graphical and tabular view from within this window and also change the date range or print the graph or table. If you choose to print, the printout will include the patient's basic demographic details as they appear in the Precy bar. A useful feature that's often forgotten is the ability to view more than one value type displayed together in tabular or graphical form in order to compare them alongside each other. To do this, select each of the codes you wish to compare. You can select up to four codes to be displayed in this way. Remember that if you're selecting codes that are not next to each other, you can hold control down and click on each of these non-contiguous items. Once selected, go to the trend option on the ribbon or right click and select either tabular or graphical. You'll see the table or graph displaying all sets of data on comparable timelines. As with the standard graphical and tabular displays, you can toggle from one to the other. You can opt to display point labels. You can alter the date range and you can print. Let's return to the right-click menu options to cover the last two. Audit Trail displays details of users who have added or edited codes and the date and time that these actions took place, as well as the full consultation record if the code was added via a consultation. The final option in the right-click menu is the Knowledge option, which, like the Knowledge Search option in the ribbon, will open up Mentor Online and take you straight to the pages containing information relating to the selected code. Now let's take a look at other views of the care history data. There are six views that are specific to the care history section. The default is all data. However, you can select one of the other views to filter out data and give a more specialised view. Each of these does pretty much what it says on the tin. Non-value data filters out all values. And then the allergies, health status, family history and immunisations views present data that refers specifically to these groupings. The content of these sections is pre-configured by EMIS and is not editable by the user. As well as these pre-configured EMIS views, you can create your own filters for this section. A video on how to create and manage care record filters is also available. That's all for this look at the care history section. Test yourself with a few questions on what we've covered.